So I was going to do a quick video on the biggest dangers when using a multimeter on domestic household work. Basically, whenever you prove someone's dead, it's a three-step process. You have to check that the leads work with the proving unit or by testing in the live thing with the recommended proving unit. Then you test the voltage and then you prove your unit again. But I'm not talking about that, it's the isolation procedure, that's pretty easy. Well these are the main dangers you face, look. As you can see, 240 volts. And it's... It's live, obviously, it's proving that it's live. So it's unsafe to work. But, if you've selected the wrong setting, so you're on volts DC, the voltage now looks like it's nothing. So, that is very, very dangerous. So you've got the wrong setting, always make sure you're on the right setting. Volts, AC, squiggly line. As you can see there, squiggly line. The second fault is, I'm going to turn it off, is say you've got a lead that ain't plugged in properly. So you've got it on the right setting. I'm going to turn it back on. It is working at the minute, but at some point it'll won't work it's pretty hard to do that but I have known it happen so make sure your leads are fully in and lastly I'm going to turn it off if you're on the amp setting and you've got your positive lead in the wall this end now becomes live if you was to touch that with that plugged in that would be live and it can carry 10 amps usually on a normal meter this one does 20 amps so basically on a amps reading you'd have it in that socket and that would be live so obviously that is very dangerous if you came to this and you hadn't swapped your leads back and you tried to test the electric the voltage potentially you could electrocute yourself by making that end positive so that's it